Now to a remarkable aerial view of Sydney that really shows how our suburbs have been transformed. What was once grass and scrub, now streets and houses. Our city will be home to five million people very soon and it's all happening with startling speed. Parramatta through the decades, 1943 to now, the changes are significant as the number of commercial and residential properties grow, the urban sprawl seemingly unstoppable. Having that historical timeline really allows you to see change over time and see how sort of urban development and expansion has gone on. Over the last seven years, parts of Kellyville have morphed from paddocks into streets and houses. The area will continue to grow as people looking for space move. For the young families, the west is where they can get those house and land packages, a bit more affordability, and that's why there's growth there. The fastest growing local government area in Australia last year was Camden. Its population is around 72,000. In just 20 years, it's expected to be more than 212,000. And it's developed at a startling speed. Gone is the quiet town surrounded by rolling farmland and vineyards, but locals say it's kept its rural feel. Camden is still a good little country town. It's a beautiful little town. I hope it doesn't change. At Oran Park, the old racetrack has given way to rows of houses. Eventually, 25,000 residents are expected to move in, and as the population booms, there's no telling how dense suburbs across Sydney will get. Sydney grows by more people every 13 days than the whole state of Tasmania adds in an entire year. Five million people will live in Sydney by the end of the year. The Aussie dream may never be the same. Chloe Bailey, 7 News.